When it comes to grouping and locking objects, Adobe InDesign works the same as Adobe Illustrator. You can select all of your objects, either at once, and to group them, go up to Object, down to Group. Command-G is the keyboard shortcut. Now they're all together as one group. The same is true for their layers. In the Layers tab, you can click on Layer 1 and open it up. Notice now they're all in one group, and you can see the individual groups are inside of here. If I needed to ungroup them, of course I can go to Object, down to Ungroup. Now they're broken apart into separate ones. If I wanted to lock down one layer, I can go to Object, choose Lock, Command-L in this case is the keyboard shortcut. Now I can't select it. Check out our Layers palette. One of the layers has a little lock on it. That's the square that's been locked down. So if I needed to quickly lock down a specific square, like this one, the green one, I can click the little lock icon. Now the green one is locked down. Or I can click it again and I can unlock a layer. Additionally, I can lock entire things on a layer by clicking this. Now everything on layer one has been locked and no changes can be created on that entire layer. The final thing to know is how to hide objects. If, say, you had something on there that you wanted to just get rid of momentarily without deleting it or moving it, you can select those objects, go up to Object, down to Hide, or Command-3. Now, this doesn't delete it. It keeps them on there, but it hits the little eyeball icon on your link layer. And this will turn on and off things that are on your layer. To unhide them, naturally, you can click on the eyeball, or you can go back up to Object and choose Show All.